we have a whole ton over the last 20 years of serial hybrids mm -hmm. that people retrofitted with diesel engines. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, very expensive failures. Hello and welcome to another one of our Boat How to Ask the Expert series with Nigel Calder. Hi. I'm Jan Attenstedt and uh, today we've got a question about uh, hybrid systems. The question is what's the difference between a serial and uh, a parallel hybrid system and um, which one would be better according to Nigel. So what do you think about that? Both systems have an engine. Mm -hmm. uh, in the serial application there's an electric motor attached to the propeller and the engine is not attached to the propeller, it's driving a generator. Mm -hmm. So you use the engine to generate electricity that powers the electric motor and mm -hmm. that runs the prop. In the parallel hybrid, the engine is connected to the propeller like mm -hmm. it is in a conventional installation, and then we have an auxiliary electric motor that's mm -hmm. also connected to the same propeller shaft. Mm -hmm. So then we can use either the engine or the electric motor mm -hmm. to run the uh, to drive the propeller shaft. With the serial system, because the electric motor is all that's connected to the propeller shaft, it has to be powerful enough to deal with the worst conditions the boat is going to mm -hmm. be in, which means it's got to be big. Uh, expensive electric motor and then you've got to have a fairly substantial generator to power it so you still end up with a fairly large uh, engine on the boat and the installations are pretty fairly complex and they're expensive and historically uh, because of the cost of these systems boat builders have typically undersized the electric motor mm -hmm. and then uh, the boats get out in rough conditions and strong headwinds uh, and they're underpowered mm -hmm. and the owners get frustrated. We have a we have a whole ton over the last 20 years of serial hybrids mm -hmm. that people retrofitted with diesel engines. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, very expensive failures. Mm -hmm. In a parallel system the uh, engine is connected to the propeller mm -hmm. so we can get away with a much smaller electric motor mm -hmm. and then we just use that for the low speed maneuvering mm -hmm. and on a sailboat you can use it for motor sailing mm -hmm. it's a terrific piece of kit for that you can have a smaller battery bank uh, and uh, effectively the most inefficient way to run a diesel engine is at low speeds and low loads. Mm -hmm. So you can take the low speed operation and run it with the electric motor mm -hmm. and then anytime you're up around cruising speed uh, a diesel engine is pretty efficient in a boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at that point, the electric motor is not big enough anymore, so we run the, the diesel engine, which is now fairly efficient mm -hmm. anyway. And then we can turn that electric motor into a generator. Okay, so you basically use it as a big, uh, big alternator. Yeah, and this is what a Toyota Prius does. Mm -hmm. uh, when it's going down the motorway, you can hear the engine kicking in and then it charges the batteries and then it runs off the batteries and it mm -hmm. kind of goes backwards and forwards. Mm -hmm. We're not quite as sophisticated with our parallel hybrids, but we can use the electric motor for all the low speed stuff. Mm -hmm. The only time, to my mind, that a serial hybrid really works. There are two applications. One, where like short haul ferries, mm -hmm. where you can plug in at both ends, so you rarely need a generator, mm -hmm. and the generator is just there as a backup, yeah. in case you have a longer run or the batteries go down. The other case is, is a fast sailing catamaran, mm -hmm. where they really don't want much propulsion, mm -hmm. uh, and then when they're under sail, they can generate quite a lot of energy off a freewheeling propeller. Yeah. Yeah. But any time you have extended range with a serial hybrid mm -hmm. at cruising speeds, it's actually less efficient to have the generator running and powering mm -hmm. the electric motor than mm -hmm. it is to have that same engine that's on the generator connected yeah. to the propeller shaft. Yeah. So then it doesn't make sense. And all too many um, people buying serial hybrids uh, are over optimistic about their sailing capabilities mm -hmm. and how much they're going to sail. And, and <laughs> they underestimate how mm -hmm. much propulsion time mm -hmm. they want. Yeah. And they end up with an undersized electric motor uh, and, a, and a lot of frustration mm -hmm. and a less efficient system than if they had a conventional yeah. insulation in the first place. Yeah. On my boat, I want a parallel hybrid. Mm -hmm. But uh, when we built the boat, the technology wasn't sufficiently well mm -hmm. developed to yeah. put it in there. But if I were building a boat today, mm -hmm. an offshore cruising boat, I'd put a parallel hybrid yeah. in there. Yeah. That's interesting. All right. Well, thanks, Nigel, for your take on You're that. Welcome. And if you want to learn more about electric and hybrid propulsion, we have a whole module on that in our Advanced Marine Electrics course at Boat How To. See you soon. <laughs>